Exclusivity is obviously a hot topic, and it is due to one notable storefront drawing a lot of negative attention to the topic. But Bandai Namco's European Senior Vice President recently said in an interview that the company has no interest in the Epic Game Store. Exclusivity does not always help you, and in this case, Epic, exclusivity has worked against you. You have dragged your reputation through the dirt just to get rejected by the allies you need. Now, in the interview, the European Senior Vice President did have a few positive things to say about the store, but expressed no desire to be involved with exclusivity, and even said that it is against Bandai Namco's mission of getting their games to the widest possible audience. He went so far as to say that exclusivity is a threat to what they are trying to accomplish, since their main concern is the consumer and the brand. They are more interested in investing in a wide range of emerging platforms and not having their properties exclusive to any store or platform. They do understand that, extri that striking an exclusivity deal with a store like Epic is an attractive business model for many since it creates more profit. But again, they have made it clear that this is just not a good business model for them, and to quote the Vice President, we want our content to be available to as many fans as possible. In the end, he did say, because right now the way that Epic is functioning, they most likely will not be working with them, but in the future there is always a possibility if this changes, essentially saying that the door is never closed. Now, obviously, Bandai Namco is not the first company to see exclusivity as a negative thing and walk away from Epic, and the largest publisher to tell Epic no is Microsoft, who at this point does not even have any plans of offering their titles on the Epic Game Store, which does make sense with Game Pass emerging to be a very important part of their future and xCloud, which will be coming soon, but even indie developers are not happy. In a previous video, I had talked about Unfold Games and Dark, where Epic offered Unfold Games an exclusivity deal, which they felt was not in the best interest of the game since they were interested in building their reputation with customers and in the industry. They felt with having their game as available on as many platforms as possible was more beneficial for them in the long run instead of that extra profit from the deal. In a temper tantrum, Epic decided the Dark was not a game for them. Instead of just allowing them on their platform, they outright denied the title for seemingly no reason. We know that Epic is not a completely open platform, but why turn down and deny a game that you offered to come to your platform in this manner if you were not bitter? And Unfold Games even pledged that if Tim Sweeney accepts the sales of Dark on the Epic Game Store non-exclusively, they will donate 100% of the profits from the Epic Game Store sales to a charity of the gaming community's choice, and yet there is still no response from anyone affiliated with Epic. I guess we will see if there is any response in the future, but I honestly doubt it. Again, the Vice President did not reference the clear hypocritical stance of Epic, but I am sure that that was factored into their thinking. There is quite a possibility that Bandai Namco also does not want the reputation and the baggage that would come along with going exclusive on Epic. Look, I believe that competition is very healthy for any market. But the competition that Epic says they are trying to create does not equal their actions. I highly doubt the Epic Game Store is going anywhere, and as gamers we need to get the message across to them that what they are doing is not okay. They need to add features to make their storefront better, they need to work on their accessibility options, and they need to stop using anti-consumer tactics in the name of competitiveness to get exclusives. I've seen it written that Epic is not holding a gun to these developers' heads, saying that they must be exclusive to their platform or bad things will happen, but now we see that that is exactly what is going on. 
The argument has been made that Epic's exclusivity deals are the only way that they can carve a place in the PC gaming market, but this does not excuse their rhetoric and attitude, which we now see with their refusal of the game Dark. They should compete by offering a client which has better options and better deals on games. Obviously, if there is a game that you really want that is an exclusive, you will purchase it on Epic instead of waiting. But what is supposed to bring me back to your client? This one exclusive is not enticing me to purchase more there, especially with the reputation you have given yourself. You need to build a loyal fan base, and this is not the way to do so. But that is all that I wanted to discuss in today's video. If you enjoy it, please make sure to give it a like, and if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way. Also, make sure to share this video and follow me on Twitter if you are not already. Consider subscribing, and also consider checking out our Discord server. But I hope that you enjoyed, and I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.